We overhaul 3.0 TDI engines for Volkswagen, Audi and Porsche cars. We replace seized engines that are no longer worth repairing with new ones. We offer original, brand new engines with two-year warranty with no mileage limit at the best prices in Europe. In this video, we show how to replace V6 TDI engines at the VAG Expert Workshop. Replacing the 3.0 TDI engines in Audi or Volkswagen cars is a rather complex operation requiring a lot of knowledge and experience and having the right equipment needed to perform such an operation along with other related work. A new engine is always covered by a two-year manufacturer's warranty but this only applies if it's installed in accordance with technical instructions and up-to-date technology and if all mating components are in good working order. Failure to install the engine correctly, check the accessory components, and rectify any faults will lead to the new engine failing within a short time. Therefore, replacing such a unit is a process that, in addition to the disassembly and assembly of the engine itself and the reassembly of the accessories, involves a number of steps to determine whether to repair or replace engine components that may have contributed to the seizure as well as components that have been damaged as a result of this failure. So, one step at a time. We pump the refrigerant out of the air conditioning system. In all Audi models, the 3.0 TDI engines are removed from below, and the front of the car is not dismantled. So we take the covers off, we drain the coolant, we disconnect all cables and systems. After about two hours, we have removed the engines from two Audi Q7s. We unscrew the DPF with the catalytic converter. This is the first component to be checked and cleaned or replaced before being fitted back in. In a moment, our DPF will be placed in the appropriate machine. This will be shown later in the film. Now, we unscrew the gearboxes from the engines. Some 3.0 TDI units are so seized that in order to turn the crankshaft to unscrew the converter bolts, you have to use a 2 meter spanner extension. We remove the accessory components from the engine, alternator, air conditioning compressor, electrical harness, hoses and wires. We mounted the engine on a stand so that we could conveniently and safely remove further components from it. We unscrew the turbocharger. The turbine is lubricated by engine oil, so if the engine is seized due to poor quality oil or low oil pressure, it too could be damaged. It needs to be checked. Sometimes it is immediately apparent that the turbine is blocked, that is to say, completely worn out. It then needs to be replaced or reconditioned. If no damage is apparent at first glance, it needs to be tested. The compressor is thoroughly cleaned of swarf and carbon deposits that may have entered it with the oil during the engine seizure. The turbine then goes to the turbo test unit where we will check its condition. This machine performs a compressor test under conditions almost identical to those in the car. The device checks the pressure and performance of the turbine over its entire operating range. If the turbocharger does not pass the test, it must be reconditioned or replaced. We carry out the entire remanufacturing process on site using the highest quality parts. There is a separate video about turbocharger reconditioning on our channel. We return to our engine for a moment and remove the injectors. These two must be checked before being transferred to the new unit, as a faulty injector could damage the new engine quite quickly. We test the injectors using the professional test bench of the manufacturer, Bosch. If any injector fails the test, it needs to be replaced. After passing the tests, the device will give the injectors the new unique codes, IMA, which, for the engine controller, are the full operating specifications of the injector in question. The new codes will, of course, be added later to the control unit in the car. Failing to add codes or simply failing to check the condition of the injectors is a mistake or omission often made by less experienced workshops. And a faulty injector can destroy any engine pretty quickly. There is also a separate video on our channel about common rail injectors. Another component that we will transfer to the new engine is the entire intake system. These components need a solid cleaning of the carbon buildup that restricts airflow. We have professional parts washers, ultrasonic washers, and a chamber washer in our workshop area. This will ensure that all components are thoroughly cleaned before reassembly. Of course, components containing electronics, such as dampers or flaps, are cleaned by hand. 
An old, seized engine can be sent for scrap. We won't need anything else from it. Now, let's move on to the new engine. All third-generation 3.0 TDI engines, whether for Audi or Volkswagen, are sold in the form we present here. In the parts catalogue, such an item is called Repair Kit Engine Without Accessories. The engine is complete with camshaft heads and their drive components. It is closed with covers on the cylinder heads and timing components. The Volkswagen Group manufactures these engines on an ongoing basis, so there are production dates on each component, typically no earlier than one year before its purchase. Spare parts are constantly being improved so that defects that were discovered by the company in previous engines are eliminated in the new engines. Since we replace the third generation TDI engines several times a week, we have all the models of this type and other parts needed for their replacement on site in fairly large quantities. With us, you won't be waiting for them to be imported from Germany. When assembling an engine into a car, we use new gaskets when repositioning the gear components. We also replace engine accessory components that have a significant impact on the correct operation of the engine in the future. The need to replace them arises from the obligation to comply with procedures in accordance with the terms of the warranty, as well as from the service instructions and simple logic. When replacing a V6 TDI engine, there are many components that need to be used. As you can see, a full list of the parts we replace when fitting a new 3.0 TDI engine to a car, along with part numbers and prices, can be found at 3TDI.eu. The most expensive and, at the same time, most important attachments that need to be replaced are, of course, the oil cooler, the oil pressure control valve, the oil level sensor, as well as the coolant pump, the coolant regulator and the valve. We fit accessory components to the new engine that we have previously cleaned and checked. Naturally, when checking the condition of these components, it may turn out that some of them need to be replaced because they are worn out or damaged. So, we install fuel injectors in the engine, intake manifolds, then the high-pressure fuel lines and fuel rails, EGR cooler with a valve, turbocharger, pipes connecting the intake and exhaust manifolds, exhaust manifolds, all cooling system hoses, dampers and flaps, engine harness, alternator, AC compressor, new poly V-belt pulleys and tensioner, the drive belt is also new. Now we will connect the engine to the gearbox. We will then fit the cleaned DPF. Oh, I was supposed to show you the cleaning process. So briefly, because there is a separate video about it, cleaning is carried out using a machine made by the Swiss company FF Solution. And it is a method that is capable of removing up to 99% of the contaminants accumulated in the particulate filter. We can now install these engines in the cars. All that's left now is the final assembly. Front and rear drivetrain, i.e. half shafts and drive shaft, front suspension, exhaust system. Of course, we also change the fuel filter. We install a new air filter. A new oil filter was in the engine, so all that remains is to pour oil into the engine. Then we fill up the cooling system, of course, using a suitable instrument so that it is properly vented. We also fill the air conditioning system with new refrigerant and oil. Before starting the engine, we still perform the entire pre-start procedure according to the technical instructions. So we start the ODIS diagnostic tester, log on to the manufacturer's online systems and perform all required actions one by one, such as updating the engine controller software, adding the IMA ISA codes of the injectors, assigning the fuel pump, adapting the turbocharger, bleeding the fuel system, and adapting and parametizing other components. In the case of cars with a 48-volt installation, we additionally switch on a system that was disconnected for repair work. Only after this has been done do we start the engine. We then delete the errors in all the controllers and check that everything is OK again, and of course, we write down a record of what we have done. As we removed parts of the front suspension during the engine replacement, we need to check and carry out a possible correction to the front wheel alignment. This will be done at a dedicated workstation using a precision measuring device operating in real 3D technology. Another very important procedure that we carry out during each replacement of the third generation 3.0 TDI engine 
is to reprogram the engine controller unit to achieve higher engine oil pressure. This modification will significantly extend the life of the new engine, as low oil pressure, as is well known, is the main cause of seizure in V6 generation EA897 EVO units. I will discuss this issue in more detail in a separate video. Now, we will clean the engine compartment. And of course, we will do a test drive. Over a distance of approximately 70 kilometers, we will check the correct operation of the engine and its accessories, and using a diagnostic device, measure and compare the required parameters such as oil pressure, turbine performance, injector adjustments, and fuel pressure. And we will also check the efficiency and operation of the exhaust gas treatment system and many other parameters. When we return from the test drive, we once again carry out a check to ensure that everything is in order and that no leaks or faults have appeared. We put on the previously cleaned underbody covers. Finally, we wash the car. We can now invite the customers to collect the cars. The entire process of replacing a 3.0 TDI engine takes two days. We replace engines in two cars at the same time. We install up to 20 new V6 TDI engines per month and about five overhauled ones. Trust our experience and make use of our services. You will find current prices for the new engines on our website, newengine.eu. In this video, we demonstrated the process of replacing the engine. I encourage you to watch the video on V6 and V8 TDI engine overhauls. There, we show you step by step how reconditioning such an engine works. We explain when it's worth overhauling an engine, when it is not cost effective, and why. I encourage you to watch all the videos on our channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel.